The zombies are coming, the zombies are coming, and deceased unkillables, issue number two. Written by Tom Taylor, with pencils by Carl Mostert, inks by Trevor Scott, Neil Edwards, and Carl Mostert, colors by Rex Locus, and letters by Saida Tamafonte. And this issue begins with Jason Todd, Jim Gordon, and Cassandra Kane discussing what to do with the locked up blighted ones as they then hear Lois Lane's broadcast about the life vessels that will leave Earth. Jim concludes that it's far too risky to move all of the children safely and that telling the kids their heroes are abandoning them would be devastating. Therefore, they all agree to hang back and stand their ground. Back on Vandal Savage's island, Lady Shiva convinces Mirror Master to take her to see her daughter, Cassandra which he complies and the mother-daughter duo have a brief conversation about Cassandra joining Shiva and says she'd only accept if they can bring the children. This escalates into a fight with Jason interrupting but gets kicked before Jim points a gun at Shiva, prompting them to leave. Once back on the island, Vandal Savage is displeased with Shiva's recklessness as Mirror Master's abilities are vital to their survival. Before the situation can escalate any further, Slade breaks it up with Savage inviting Slade to a private quarters with Rose giving her dad a warning. Once behind closed doors, Slade sees the creeper on the table alive, but cut open as Savage wants to study their immunity to the virus as he is then punched by Solomon Grundy, quickly finding himself strapped to a table. However, before Savage can begin experimenting, Rose stabs Savage from behind, frees her dad and the creeper, then tells everyone to run. Savage thinks he can't be surprised, but quickly finds he was wrong as a zombified Wonder Woman breaches their sanctuary, ripping Savage in two. The villains decide to retreat, heading for the orphanage where Jason Todd and the others are, with Mirror Master hastily returning for Captain Cold, only to be bitten by him. Jason and the others come to find the villains and all decide to put any quarrels on hold in order to work together, build a community, and begin training the children for combat, which Jim Gordon is opposed to at first, but then comes around. Slade, Grundy, and Jason also decide they need to kill all of the locked up blighted ones, where Jason even sees a young Billy Batson. The story continues with all of the villains taking on mentor roles as Lady Shiva and Cassandra teach combat, Deadshot teaches marksmanship, Cheetah giving tips on Wonder Woman's weaknesses, and Bane teaching history. As time wears on, the villains start becoming more gentle and kind to the children, with Jason and Rose later coming across Slade exercising the kids to the point of overexertion and asks if it's all necessary, to which Slade says yes, because Batman was too soft, leading to the Joker caving in Jason's head with a crowbar. Following this, Slade also gives his blessing on the very noticeable blossoming relationship between Jason and Rose. Meanwhile, Bane is monitoring the halls when he notices a scrowling not seeing the zombified Mirror Master come from behind him, which leads to him getting infected. Panic ensues as Mirror Master begins going after anyone near a mirror, causing Deadshot to sacrifice himself to save one of the kids. Cassandra then limps into the hall to inform everyone that Bane has been turned, causing Jim to run after him, only to see Bane break open the barrier, allowing the infected to swarm in. And hot damn was this another fantastic issue. The one thing that I'm really liking about Deceased Unkillable so far is getting to see everything from the other side because in the original Deceased, we got it from the hero's perspective about how they tried to contain the situation, control the situation, but just didn't work out. But now here we are after they've left Earth, the villains and the remaining heroes, they're trying to pick up the pieces as the situation is just becoming more dire and more desperate. I also thought it was great to see Vandal Savage finally get his comeuppance for basically being an arrogant dick as Wonder Woman just comes charging in and rips him in half. Which is fascinating because the man has survived time and time again various extinction level events since the dawn of man and this time it was just too much even for him. Unless he can pull himself back together. I don't know, do, do, do you guys think he can put himself back together that way? I also thought it was interesting to put the villains into caregiver roles as we really do get to see them change from, you know, crazy killer monster type to kind, compassionate, and to a degree taking on the role of a hero. Because they're not just teaching these kids how to survive, they've also become attached to these kids. They care about these kids. That was evident from when Deadshot actually saved one of them, which cost him his life. Like, even Bane, when he was teaching his class, the kid just didn't understand him because of his mask, and in the very next scene that we see him in, 
He's taken his mask off, and though he's still a big guy, he's far less intimidating and ultimately more kid-friendly. As well as Cheetah, I mean, the little girl just pats her, calls her a good kitty. I mean, I feel like, you know, several months prior to that, kid or not, she would have slit that kid's throat. But overall, what I'm getting at is it was just very interesting to see villains in the role of protector. It's a great read, I had so much fun with it, and I'm going to say that Deceased Unkillables issue number two gets the epic gold medal. So Deceased and Killables issue number two, have you read this book? I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you'd smash that like button, share it with some friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and ring that notification bell for more comic book content. And if you're wondering what to watch next, consider one of these two videos. And don't forget to check out my playlist on the original Deceased series, Links right up here alongside the review to the first Deceased Unkillables issue. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to stay up to date on all future videos. Alright, take care, have a great day, and as always, stay geeky.